Well, hello there, folks, and happy Sunday to you. It's lovely to see you again, as usual, and a very warm welcome back to What's for Tea and Our Meals of the Week this week. So, yeah, thank you for joining me again this week. And I'm just going to run you through what I made for the family, starting all the way back on Monday through till today, which is Sunday. And it was my birthday on Wednesday, so me and Mr. What's for Tea actually went away for the night. He booked something. I didn't know anything about it, so I will show you that when we get there. So let me show you what we had this week. So on Monday, we had a beef hot pot. I haven't had this for such a long time and it's basically a very rich beef stew in the bottom with slices of potatoes on the top, a wee bit of butter and just roast it, you know, in the oven until it goes nice and bubbly. And we had some cauliflower on the side and also some sweet corn as well. We do love our sweet corn, as you'll know by now. And this was just a lovely combination. Moving on to Tuesday, it was chippy night, so we just had some rolls and chips from the local chip shop, or Mr. What's for Tea had a roll and chips from the local chip shop. Very, very popular here. Very simple, but really tasty. And it is just as it says on the tin, you know, a roll, a buttered roll with chips inside with a wee bit of salt. And moving on to Wednesday, like I said, it was my birthday and Mr. What's for Tea had surprised me. He'd booked a wee night away. This isn't too far from us. This is about half an hour away from us, and you can pause here and have a wee look at the menu if you like. The room that he had booked actually came with dinner, bed and breakfast and a bottle of Prosecco so it was like a wee sort of package. So we both decided to have the chicken tempura to start. So this is just wee marinated chicken breast fillets with a very light batter, some side salad and loads of chilies on the top which Mr What's for Tea just kind of shoved to the side but that was lovely. We both decided to go for fish and chips. You know we do love our fish and chips and if it's in the menu I will normally go for fish and chips it's just one of my favorites you know whether it's from the chip shop or a restaurant or whether I do it myself it's just lovely so some haddock some chips a wee bit of salad mushy peas lemon and tartar sauce after that I couldn't manage anything else although you know it was included but I just couldn't manage anything else but Mr What's for Tea had some sticky toffee pudding some rice oh no it's not rice ice cream and some cream and this was our view from the morning the next morning. The rain was lashing down, but this was it about 45 minutes later. It completely cleared up and the sun was starting to come through. So I just wanted to share this wee view with you just to show you how beautiful it actually was. And then went down for breakfast about 15 minutes after that. And Mr. Watts for tea just had sausage and scrambled egg. They actually gave him four and he managed two of those. It, you know, wasn't expecting four. I just had the traditional... Scottish breakfast, so it's haggis, black pudding, tatty scone, tomato, a wee bit of mushroom, a couple of sausages, bacon and those baked beans as well. So that gave us a really good start to the day and I was full most of the day after that. So later on that night we just had soup and rolls because neither of us were really that hungry. So we had these wee bake at home rolls which I just popped some tuna and garlic mayo and black pepper, a wee corn in the cob with butter and then a homemade ham and lentil soup that I had in the freezer that I'd made a wee while ago and it keeps really well you know in the freezer and it's just so handy just to reheat if you're having a wee quick tea like this and I will show you the room that we had at the end as well just in case you're interested and then moving on to Friday, we had fish and butter sauce. So this fish was from a local fishmonger and it's just haddock fillets. We had some mashed potato on the side, some garden peas, and that's the pit, the, <laughs> the poached fish there. <laughs> and I made a homemade butter sauce just for the top and this was lovely as well. I don't think you can beat the local fishmonger for your fresh fish. You know, it's just it's so lovely. And moving on to Saturday, we had sausage rolls. So these are the Linda McCartney vegetarian sausage rolls and Mr. What's for Tea absolutely loves these sausage rolls, more so than actual meat sausage rolls, believe it or not. He just loves them. So we had a couple of them and some baked beans and like I said, the creamy mashed potato on the side. And again, just a lovely combination and so quick and easy to put together. 
Then moving on to today, we had chicken. So these were some chicken breasts, which I just flash fried and then finished off in the oven. Just a wee bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Very, very simple. A couple of slices of sage and onion stuffing. These are new potatoes, which I've just boiled and then finished off in the pan with a wee bit of garlic butter, some cauliflower again, because I had a couple that I had to use up, some Yorkshire pudding there, and then some lovely chicken gravy on the top. Just a lovely warming, easy to put together again. Just a lovely plate of food. So this was the room that we had. This is the Waterside Hotel in West Kilbride, which I said is about half an hour away from us. And it's quite a new hotel. You know, I think it's about five years old, maybe six years old. So it's not that old, but it's, you know, it's set in a lovely location, just right on the water there, as I showed you earlier. So it's lovely and fresh. You know, it's quite basic, but it's quite a large room as well. And like I said, the room did come with a bottle of Prosecco that you can see there and also the dinner, the bed and the breakfast and it was all very reasonable as a wee package. I think it was about £170 which I think is excellent for two people when you consider you know everything that's involved and this was the view here like I said. So yeah I was super chuffed with this wee room and we have stayed here before. We were at a wedding a few years back and this was the, the place we stayed or this was the where the wedding was held so we have been here before so we knew it was going to be nice so that was my wee birthday treat and I was super chuffed with that and will definitely be back, you know, even if it's just for a meal because it was lovely. So that was our meals this week and my wee birthday meal as well. So thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point and a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well and for you all for watching. Leave in your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well, it's all very much appreciated as you know and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping and bagging or whatever else comes my way or even back on Sunday for meals of the week so whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and a smashing week and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.